stone, old stone wall. I love that. After brick effect wall, time for some stone wall, old looking stone wall. And I'm gonna make it quite similar to this one. And if you haven't seen this video, I'm gonna give you a link under this one, under this video for this video. <laughs> and um, at the end of the video, as always. This time we're not gonna use cardboard, uh, like very delicate, nice cardboard like this one. Like, um, mm, this is chipboardish kind of uh, piece. We're gonna use the egg carton, egg egg thing, because I like the texture of that paper, of that cardboard really, and also that we can just, e it's easier on our hands to kind of um, basically try to um, try to achieve a as, as not stone like yeah stone like a stone a shape of the stone shape of the of the cardboard so that that's kind of the idea now I'm gonna just try to make those um, into shape <laughs> and we will stick them down with the glue gun I think <clears throat> and the more irregular they are, probably the better and the more realistic it looks. Of course, we have to concentrate on how we're going to color it. Um, now, here we were like doing opposite, the lines were opposite, uh, you know, uh, line, then here, then here, like this kind of zigzag. Here, no, not so much. You don't have to really um, worry about um, about the sh sh um, how, it, how, how the pattern goes, you know? <clears throat> because everything really, even the size and the shape, everything goes, everything will work because when we will color it, it will be even. I'm gonna bring that camera closer a little bit here, yeah, because when we will color it, it will just all change yet again. Now, I'm sure you have an egg cardboard <laughs> in your fridge. If you don't, it's easy to get your hands on it <laughs> and there we go. I'm very curious myself of the final look of that. Um, again, I haven't tested the idea at all. <laughs> uh, but I thought that since this worked so very well, and I really, really like the wall, the brick wall effect here, uh, I thought this has to work too. Now, I'm thinking that it would be pretty cool as well, even if we maybe add pieces on top of each other. Anyway, you know what, before we're gonna be doing anything else, I'm just gonna grab my glue gun and just start gluing pieces down, basically. That's what I should do, isn't it? Just glue them down. And don't burn yourself using glue gun, please be very, very careful. Oh. Again, the more irregular, the better. So don't concentrate on making this super even and super precise. No! And I love the idea of this project because this could be perfect project on its own, even without, um, even if we're not gonna finish much, we can just basically um, add maybe sentiment even here and just have that. <laughs> now look at the look at the, your cardboard because um, you can see that this is the nicer part and this is less nicer so the less nicer we need <laughs> for this project to be uh, uh, visible uh, on the top now I love that <laughs> now we're gonna color it different obviously it's gonna be like maybe grayish color bluish grayish greenish we will see we will have to wait and see I have some colors prepared here. I hope they will do the magic, the jab. Mm -hmm. That looks really nice. That looks really, really nice. I love using glue gun because it's fast. It helps me to make this project just super fast and I don't have to wait for it to dry. Even if you're not a crafter and you're watching this video, <laughs> Get a glue gun for yourself. It's it's good to have a glue gun. Uh, of course, teach your children how to use it so they wouldn't burn themselves if they want to use it. And get a glue gun. It's a good item to have it in every house, really. I believe so. Okay, 
we're nearly there guys finishing our old stone wall <laughs> Now, I wonder, should I put anything on top? Would that be good? I love that. How cool is this? But pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> now again, if you don't have the egg cardboard, which it's hard to believe you don't, but maybe you don't, use an ordinary cardboard, but maybe squish it more or maybe paper mache would do you know there are ways of trying out I'm sure that after this video you will leave me comments of other ideas how this actually could be uh, done in, in, in some other way in the brick wall uh, effect I have used daily paper as my next layer because my cardboard was very much smooth which in this case I'm loving what I see, so I wouldn't like to, I wouldn't like to make, make this uh, with the anything on top. So I'm good. I'm just gonna grab my Mod Podge basically, and try to gently prime, seal uh, the cardboard, so it would just give me this uh, finish, and I will be able to paint it on top. So I'm just sealing and priming everything right now with the Mod Podge. And I, I have this Mod Podge for ages, like very long, I show you, it's Mod Podge, it's gloss, so, and it's five years old or four years old and it works still really, really good. So now, as you can see, I'm just trying to cover that and I'm gonna dry that. Once this is dry, we can move on to coloring part, which is always very exciting <laughs> to see whether this is actually gonna uh, work and look as we hope or not so yeah time to time to time to dry mm, my wall is is dry and uh, my stones are dry so time to paint it I'm gonna start gently with white <laughs> I'm gonna be just playing with the white, just play safe, a touch of water as well, and yeah, I think, and a touch of silver maybe, mm -hmm -hmm. that's nice, that's nice looking, now, I don't have ordinary silver, as in matte color, I have only a silver um, grey, I couldn't find any grey pa uh, paint basically, but I found this um, metallic effect. <laughs> Effect silver. That's okay. That will do. Use what you have. That's my mission to you. Use what you have. And instead of running to the store to buy what you don't have, use your what you have. Like I don't have a grey, but I have white and black. So I can make grey, right? If I only want to. So I will try of course to, to do it on the wall directly rather than on the side. Mm -hmm. oh, that looks really cool I really like that really really like that a little bit of water now a bit of blue I don't know why but I, th I thought that it's good to have a bit of blue and black that will definitely give us some nice grey color. Mm -hmm -hmm. That's it. That's nice. That is very nice. And I'm going with my black somewhere in the grooves of the project here and there, as you can see, easy. Mm -hmm. I also have green because I thought that green could be a nice uh, addition since you know we we might have like green um, moss somewhere in the in between so I think adding a touch of green here and there could be nice so have a try have a play with the color this is such a great way to actually play with the colors you know play with the colors so uh-huh okay now I am gonna give this a, a quick dry, like a super quick dry, 
and after the oh this brown is nice as well why not the stones are not always gray they could be a bit of brown too that's nice looking wall <laughs> I'm gonna be really I'm, I'm, I am impressed with this look really really impressed I have to say <laughs> makes me smile so that's good I hope it will make you smile and inspired to create your own walls and you know it's a great project even for kids if you're building any 3d dimensional things uh, in the project in school so yeah I'm gonna give this a quick dry and I'm gonna come back to you so now we have this kind of dry but not so much and I'm gonna just grab the wipe and I will wipe off a little bit here and there just to see how things are gonna be just to maybe give uh, this uh, differentiate a look of those stones I don't know just just that's something in my mind I think that it's much easier it was much easier to to do it on the brick wall than here but that's okay that's okay don't give up don't give up Marta <laughs> so this is what we have <coughs> And I'm trying to just give a wash and clean, clean, cleaner effect. Now we can add more white if you feel like mm, something is just not happening. Oh, let me just clean that brush. Now the paints I'm using those are water-based. You can use acrylics, definitely you can use acrylics, and they would do the magic for you. Acrylics and don't dry them too fast because then you will end up with and you won't be able to clean it off if you wish to clean it, off, clean it off so I'm just adding a touch of white everywhere so this is this will stand out more a little bit which is great I'm gonna dry that and I will repeat the process of cleaning a little bit here and there it's the process of trying. I haven't tried this coloring, how to color the stone and how to make this look uh, outside of camera. So this is like we're doing it really much together. So I, I wish you to see how how the whole process goes in terms of, you know, how many layers and how things should be done and how could be done. And if there's any mistakes, you can we can all learn from from that. I, I love that. Now I love that. I wasn't too very confident two, two minutes ago <laughs> but I think it looks pretty good now. You just have to keep on trying and keep on adding the color and keep on maybe cleaning off. Just basically it's always a process and it's not fast. No. It's a process like any other but it's so rewarding and satisfying. I love that really really love that imagine a fairy house with a stone effect wall old stone effect wall where you are basically I'm just adding touches of white like a really last coat really last touch a gentle gentle touch of white just so the grooves will stand out more and that's all that's all I'm doing um, yeah, and the fairy house could be so beautiful with the uh, with the wall on the side like that. I love the idea. It's beautiful. Now you can see how different it's to this one, but it's really, really, <laughs> really nice. I love them both. Um, I thought I would say that I prefer brick one but now by looking at this I'm not too very convinced if the brick is speaking to me more because I think this is equally good you know that's that's kind of I'm just adding a darker touch on the side just a little bit I wish to kind of make this um, I don't know just not so evenish everywhere if you can see if you can tell what I'm trying to do just a little bit not everywhere because we have worked everywhere but now it's nice to kind of kind of uh, differentiate the, that here is darker here is brighter na, 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 na. I think I still I'm still missing a little touch of green that could be really nice and I will just yeah do like this kind of it's really nice I love that oh my <laughs> 
I really love that. So, can we call this done? I think we may as well call this done because it's really great as it is. I love that. Now, I cannot wait to see projects and maybe I come up with a project that I will use this uh, effect because this is really cool. This is really, really cool. Now, to say I'm proud, to <laughs> it's underestimate. I love it. I really love it. I'm loving it. Loving it. Now, I am calling this down for sure. Done. Yeah, that's it. That's it, Marta. You are really done here. <sighs> stone, old stone wall. I love that. I hope you enjoyed this video as well as the brick one. Again, I'm give you. I'm gonna give you a link to this one at the end of this video, so you can have a look at both and uh, make your own. Uh, thank you so much for watching, for your time, and for your lovely comments. As always, much appreciated. Uh, don't forget to share these videos with your friends uh, and keep it for future reference uh, for yourself and um, I'm gonna wrap up at that uh, thank you for your time for your uh, support and for being here with me as always I much appreciate that thank you so much oh look my nails are matching <laughs> the wall <laughs> thank you so much and I'll chat to you soon bye bye bye